Hey guys, what's going on? Inception here, and welcome to another video. Another SPC I'm kind of late on, right? But uh, regardless, some of you guys will pack this guy from the Icon moment. Some of you are interested in, in using him and the team in general. Uh, so we're just going to review it anyway, since we're doing the Vandersaar review for Icon swaps. But uh, yeah, guys, Del Piero is the card that we're going to be checking out today. We're taking a look at a card who is, to be honest with you guys, strangely formatted for the best version of his card, right? I'm not going to say that he's not strangely formatted. It definitely is for sure. But... He is a five foot nine player at a high medium work rate, right footed, four star skill moves with a five star weak foot. With Del Piero, guys, he is a type of player that has a unique body type, right? Unique body type, but his agility balance is in the lower area. So we have to test that out because usually when cards are around that for base card stats, it can be annoying to work with, even if they do have the unique body type, right? So just something to take into consideration. Uh, you guys know me. I'm going to have to give him the engine, right? I'm going to give him the engine because I need to see what his dribbling is like and whether or not it's improved or whether or not I don't even care to have it, right? Because, um, I mean, I'm not going to compare this type of card because it's a little bit weird, right? But you know the Zola card, right? So Gio Zola has a short and lean minus body type. So that short and lean minus makes me not care about his dribbling as much, right? But it depends on how that card's formatted. I haven't tried him out yet. Uh, but yeah, Del Piero, guys, we're going to be giving an engine chemistry style too. So by default, it feels like you're missing a few things, right? So obviously with the pace, it's going to be at a 93 for acceleration, 91 for sprint speed. We will be trying him out in the striker position to get some more goal scoring opportunities. But... Um, I do feel like this is a card that you mainly want to use as a cam. Uh, the next thing that's a little bit strange with him is the shot power. So the shot power part, I feel like you're going to notice more from hitting regular long shots. I feel like for finesse shots, it might not be too bad with him because this card is a five foot nine player with a unique body type. And when it comes to the player traits, he actually has the finesse shot trait too. So I feel like the long shots part of the, or the shot power part of the card is going to be more of an influence for the long shots for power strikes, right? Whether that's with his weak foot, whether that's with his strong foot, um, that's what we're going to be testing out the most, right? But Del Piero does have 97 attacking positioning with 98 finishing, so you're going to have to work with shot power for other variables of the card. Uh, for passing, the passing for this card is set up very nicely, obviously, right? If you give him the engine chemistry style, which I think is an obvious choice for him, um, he also gets absolutely fantastic passing abilities right so the passing is going to be in a very very good area dribbling like i said earlier we will be experimenting with for you know what the card is because of the fact that he is a player that has low agility and balance so we'll test out the height and physical uh stuff 85 for stamina on the lower side doesn't have any physical capabilities but if he's played in the cam position mostly on like a stay forward and structure and stuff it shouldn't necessarily be like too big of an issue right but with Del Piero in-game, guys, we are going to be rotating him between two different positions. Um, so we're going to be rotating him as a striker as well as a cam. So I initially used it like this with Del Piero as a left striker and then cam uh, Ginola. And then we obviously switched like this in-game because this is how it should be uh, for how Del Piero is going to play in-game. It's going to be mostly like a center forward or cam type of player. So uh, yeah, guys, we'll go ahead and try him out. Hopefully he is a beast. Yes, good finish. From an angle too, man, that 45. I didn't want to green it, I just kind of wanted to take the strike there, see how it kind of comes off. Oh, I should have just shot it. I had the angle there with Del Piero. Oh, that would have been a beautiful play. Unlucky. I tried to get it back to Del Piero there. Oh, that should be mine, EA. And then I don't get that one either from a ball in front of me. That's unlucky. Wow. You know what's crazy about that situation is that I was able, I was almost able to bait the penalty in a way, you know? What is this penalty? It must be good. I'm gonna try to like top right. Nice, we'll take that. It was a good pass by Del Piero to uh, to get that runoff there. Mm, nothing crazy special about that one. 
to put more power behind that. It's coming off of a touch a certain way too. Always have to take that into consideration for sure. Oh, no way on a white too. Maybe on a green, that's a goal. I don't know. The goalie doesn't react to it at all. It's weird. Shouldn't be a block. It's just, I don't know. I beat the goalie. The guy is just there. He blocks it for him. I don't know. So even though I give him the engine chemistry style, guys, his dribbling does have like a weird feeling to it for sure. It'd be nice if I could just collect that. Oh, no way. What a pass by Del Piero, though. Oh, Mbappe's attacking AI. He's just so good. Del Piero has really, really well-weighted passes. His passes are fantastic, especially with the engine. Ah. Oh. Yeah, so with his dribbling being the way that it is, I would probably use him mainly as a cam. Because he definitely has, like, this small sway to it, for sure. Hmm. Trying to do, like, an L-trigger touch there. It's like a shield touch, basically. Hmm. Unlucky. When you see those runs, it's really good to make those crosses. That dribbling was pretty solid there. Wasn't bad at all. Ah, man. I didn't time it against the goalkeeper correctly because the attacking AI in that area is so terrible. Um, but yeah, I just tried to work that one space. Just couldn't do it. Yeah, definitely, definitely a player you got to play in the cam position for sure. Mm, maybe I should have gone for the first time shot right there. There we go. Small little left sticks, man. Left stick, you hit the L1 button to kind of like stop the ball in place as well. Ah, uh, you see that that dribble, guys, it's going to let you down sometimes, man. Because if I could do a sharp touch there, if I could do a sharp touch there, all I have to do is just a simple pass, you know? Aw. Uh, that's why it's good to have players that have shooting stats like in the left mid area. But you can see that his passes, man, they're they're super, super well weighted, like every single time, too. Oh, unlucky. Maybe we got lucky here? No. That was like a 45 away from uh, goal two. Let's go. Good left stick. Good left stick. Yeah, you could see, though, in those moments, like, you really have to control, like, your controller a certain way to kind of get it to be as consistent as possible, you know? I like the movement from Del Piero there. I don't mind that in the cam spot. Oh, we actually scored that one. Nice. Yeah, that's why you gotta like you gotta put a lot of power behind your um your green time shots. Like it just makes it a little bit more consistent, you know.
Oh, I tried to do a bunch of shot cancels. I had to do more. <laughs> I had to do more. It's a foul there, but you can see that his dribbling sometimes is a little bit strange. Nice. We timed the uh, fake shot there. I don't know why it was a time finish. I could not tell you why. Could not, bro. Crossbar? Oh. Oh. No. Is that Vanessar icon moments? I have to check the uh, the guy's team after because I could just use that for the review. No, and was that was that off by him? It was off by him. Oh, it's dribbling sometimes, man. It's weird. I did a roulette there too, and it just didn't register, unfortunately. Well done, Del Piero. The pass is well waited. You have to go for the header, man. Oh. Yeah, you got to work those angles, man. You got to work those angles. Oh, I tried to do it again there to go upwards. Interception again. Dude, he actually like defends for me sometimes like what? Yeah, I just got to put more power behind those uh, finesse shots. Pretty good the timing on it, though, but good goal regardless. Mm, extra pace would have been nice there for sure. I don't know what that dribble. I, let's, I, I don't think that's like a composure thing with a defender or anything. Like he just touches the ball poorly. I don't know what happened there. Let's go. Good stuff. Well, we did pass from Del Piero. I like it. I like it. Let's go. We actually timed the left stick well there. He has that thing to it, though, eh? He's got the sway. Like, you really got to, like, compensate with your controller for sure. Oh, yeah, that green time shot. Nothing's going to happen from that. You can see that his shot power is low, especially when you give him the engine. Well positioned, Del Piero. Good stuff. Got to get the elastico going to, uh, to kind of accelerate into certain positions quickly. Nice pay to win for Andy. It's, this is not a pay-to-win team at all, though. Like, that's the crazy part. 1988. Nice pay-to-win team. What is this guy talking about, man? Andy, your team is what? Let me see your team, Andy. How is this in any way pay-to-win? This is like, this is a bunch of SPC. Like, most of these cards are first owner from Andy. Yeah, because Andy does, like, first owner FC. <laughs> People, man. I'm telling you guys, Elpiro actually like defense for me sometimes. Oh, I got him on that too. I'm lucky. Oh. Good play. Good, good play. I love that. Good stuff. Yeah, I just have to wait for that extra pass. Well position again, Del Piero. Yeah, so his attacking AI is a good attacking AI. Absolutely. Um, 
definitely something that I've noticed with him. Like, he makes good runs. It's just, obviously, when you give him the engine, the, the pace is not really there. Oh, Mbappe is just a different breed in this game. He's just a different breed, bro, I'm telling you. So good. This guy is literally a glitch, man. Yeah, I imagine that. No chance from that distance. Finesse shots, maybe, because finesse shots are pretty good if you get the right angle, but long shots without the actual stats. Okay, guys, so final verdict on the Del Piero card. So uh, a couple things that I noticed right off the bat, guys. So... High medium work rates with high attacking positioning. His attacking AI in the cam position is actually very good. But the problem with this card, guys, is that he is strangely formatted, right? So I do feel like you have to give the engine chemistry saw on him because his unique body type, it's a decent unique body type, but it doesn't help the dribbling of the card as much as you hope it would, right? It still dribbles okay, but there's moments where you can kind of tell that he has this like physical thing behind it, which kind of messes with the card a little bit, right? And it's very unfortunate because I do feel like for the meta of the game, it is very important to have really high pace, which he lacks in certain attacking opportunities. Um, but it's not as big of an issue if you're using him in the cam position. As a striker, it's a huge issue, if, especially if you're not like a super physical type striker. But in the cam position, not as bad, right? I, I always always showed you guys like back in the day, like the Brahim Diaz review. Like I just gave him a marksman and I worked for, with his high acceleration sprint speed being low in the cam position and it worked out perfectly fine if you wanted to complete that SPC. Uh, but with Del Piero, it's a strangely formatted card, right? So the dribbling for agility and balance regardless of the unique body type is noticeable in game, right? It's noticeable that it's in the lower area. What I did like about this card, guys, is that when it came to, you know, the finishing capabilities of it, it was actually very good. The finishing was fantastic for him, right? The shot power, like I was mentioning earlier, you notice it more for long shots for power strikes, right? That's the one that you notice it uh, mostly. It's a, You could tell that he doesn't have like this crazy venom behind it in certain cases. But obviously, when I went for the finesse shots, because of the fact that he does have the finesse shot traits and, you know, he actually has really high finishing, I think the high finishing and center of gravity being low because of the five foot nine height at a unique body type that's what allowed me to hit some finesse shots with him i was able to score with his five star weak foot i was able to score with his strong foot so a couple of very good things there passing on the card is really good loved using the passing very very well weighted passes to players like mbappe and Janolo when i was building up the play but i did feel like his dribbling was bothering me a lot in a few occasions here and there right that agility and balance being low for the unique body type is noticeably annoying right but obviously if you're decent enough at the game guys and you use this car in the cam position he is incredibly usable for the meta of the game but i just feel like again for the best version of this card i feel like he could have done a better job um with an obvious chemistry style choice right you give him an engine chemistry style uh he has better stats all around with a higher shot power would definitely be very very nice for the best version of his card but uh yeah just one of those types of spcs if you actually end up completing it this one wasn't too long ago, so I should be able to find this one quickly. Del Piero is someone who is... Where do you at? Where do you at? 565 as an SBC. Okay, so basically the same as the transfer market of the card. But uh, yeah, I think he's more going to be for players that want to use him for sentiments for a card that can be played well in the meta of the game. It's going to be that type of situation because, like I said, attacking air in the cam position is great. That five-star weak foot is awesome. Very important that his finishing stats is very high for base card stats, but it's that dribbling and pace that I think are the most annoying things for the card for sure. Uh, but yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video today. I'll catch you guys for the next one. Peace out, dudes. Love you guys.